The Lewis structure of ammonium chloride, or NH4Cl, is actually a bit challenging if you haven't seen it before. This is an ionic compound, which comes from an ammonium ion, which is NH4+, and a chloride ion, Cl-. So that means there's an ionic bond between the two, and each of these is its own separate entity. They just happen to be attracted to each other because they have opposite charges. Now, NH4 plus itself is made of non-metals. In fact, you can probably guess that you have a nitrogen in the center with four hydrogens around it. But I'll show you how to count the electrons to make it happen right now. Now, nitrogen brings five valence electrons in its outer shell. I know that because it's in group... 15. See the 5 there? That's how it tells me how many electrons nitrogen brought with it. And each hydrogen brings one valence electron with it. It's in group 1. Now, so nitrogen brings 5. I have 4 hydrogens, each bringing 1. That's 9. But the positive charge means that it lost an electron as well which means that this entity needs to have eight electrons total. You need eight electrons just to make four single bonds between nitrogen and each of the hydrogens. So this is the completed Lewis structure. You just have to put it in square brackets with a plus one charge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons shown. One nitrogen connected to four hydrogens. This is the Lewis structure for the ammonium ion. Now, where do you suppose that one electron went? This had a positive one charge, so an electron was taken away from it. Well, the answer is it went probably to this chlorine, which has one extra electron compared to when it started. Chlorine is in group 17, so it brings seven valence electrons with it. Cl, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But the one extra electron, which gives it the minus one charge, gives it the eighth. Now that's a complete octet. Eight electrons in chlorine's outer shell, and that makes it stable as well. So put it in square brackets, give it a minus one charge. This is your Lewis structure for ammonium chloride. It's a combination of the Lewis structures of the ammonium ion and the chloride ion separately. Now I want to point one more thing out. The bonds between the nitrogens and the hydrogens here are shared pairs of electrons between two nonmetals. Those bonds are covalent bonds. But the attraction between the ammonium with a positive one charge and the chlorine with a minus one charge is an ionic bond. This is one of those rare Lewis structures that has both covalent and ionic bonds, even though we never actually draw that dotted line that I just drew there. My point is that there are two different types of bonds being illustrated here. Covalent bonds are a sharing of electrons between nonmetals, Ionic bonds are an attraction between a positive thing and a negative thing. Very nice. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.